shit. God, there goes my flashlight. Oh my god. I don't even, I can't see shit. I'm gonna get caught sure as hell. What's going on guys? This is the end of the game from Motor here. Today we're taking another look at the game Slender the Arrival, developed by Parset Productions and Blue Owl Studios. At the time that I played it, my first video on this channel, it was uh, in just the beta stages, beta for beta testing. But um, right now, it has been released since, so we're going to go ahead and give it a play. Now, I've already played it before, so just to make it a little bit more entertaining too, I'm going to go ahead and play this on hardcore mode, which I've already set it to. And it's supposed to be a lot more difficult. We're going to go ahead and get started here, so let's just begin. You guys enjoy the, the opening to the game. That's it. All right. So, welcome to uh, Slender the Arrival. I'm gonna do a little bit of editing real quick. All right. Just adjusted some graphics there, but yeah. So, <clears throat> this is uh, this is Slender the Arrival. So far it looks uh, it looks pretty beautiful, as you guys can tell. They spent a lot of time, um, a lot of resources creating this. Now it's made in the same engine, the uh, Unity 3D engine. Uh, still, as the original Slender the Eight Pages was made, so... Now, um, don't get it confused. Um, if you do the research, the original Slender the Eight Pages was really just a, uh, an experimental kind of prototype for this game, what it originally was supposed to be. So this isn't really a sequel to the game. You'll see a lot of the same mechanics and uh, principles from the original Slender of the Eight Pages into this one. And um, it was just that uh, once, once you know, Slender of the Eight Pages got out, it, it was so you know unique in the way that it, it took on the horror genre that uh, it, it, it re you know, it really became its own thing, and uh, it wasn't really meant to be that way. This was this was the game that was supposed to be. But, um, yeah, so playing on hardcore mode, I know it's going to be a lot harder. Now, um, there are a lot of things I can't collect, so I, but I'm not going to try to collect all of them. I'm really just here to play the game for you guys, so you guys can see uh, what Parsec Productions and Blue Owl Studios are capable of. Again, I'll put the links in the description to their websites. Uh, you guys can take a look at the, you know, YouTube videos and everything like that to see what kind of work they've done. Now, Blue Owl Studios um, is their own gaming uh, production company, and they they've a working have a working title for another game, and uh, won't give any details on that. But you guys can take a look at that too. Uh, Parsec Productions. This is the only game that uh, full fledged game that they actually developed. So um, yeah. Just you guys enjoy. I'm gonna play this through. Uh, done giving information about the. Uh, people, and I'll just go ahead and commentate now, or comment rather. You guys can read this if you want. I will pick up these since I've already read them before. Just go ahead and uh, pause the video if you'd like to read them. Otherwise, I'm not gonna go ahead and sit and read those through. But uh, I do enjoy this game. I've uh, played this game, like I said, I've played this game before, and the story the story is good. It's definitely a good update. But, um, you know, it's quite short. It's not as much as I thought it was going to be. Um, but, you know, it's an indie game. I'm not expecting a whole bunch. That was creepy as hell. Yeah, you can tell I'm, uh, Mozart. Um...
Lock the house. Of course I'll lock the house. Are you crazy? It's the Slenderman we're talking about here. So if you guys don't... Oh, shit. There he is right there. Oh. Jesus Christ. Yeah, so um, if you guys aren't familiar with Slender, uh, be sure to check out the eight pages. Uh, the old Slender one. I'll probably put a link in the description for that, too. And I'll probably do a playthrough of that game. Um, but, uh... Yeah, it's it's extremely it's a myth, it's not a real story like the thing it was created on some forum um, by a user. It wasn't it's not a real mythology or anything like that. It's not a real creature of the night. Sorry. These games get me worked up. But anyway, um yeah, it's not he's not real. It's not based on anything true, but uh they did put out a good story. It was kind of like the SCP Foundation with all those... What the hell was that? With all those stories. Um, you know. If you guys aren't familiar with the SCP, you know, I'll be playing those games later on, too. But, uh, it's, it's, it's fictional, completely fictional, but it's kind of creepy. He's just a guy in a suit. He has no face. Kind of like that. And his arms are extremely long. And he stalks children. Um, in the woods, which is kind of creepy, you know, a little pedophilish. But uh, you know, I'm not judging. I'm not going to judge him. I don't really know him. I have no right to judge him. You know, maybe he just wants to play. Maybe he is hit his prime and he just wondered where his life went and he wants to, you know, see, you know, what it's like to be a child. I like Michael Jackson. That's why Michael Jackson played with little boys. Now. That's not a fact. I don't actually believe it to be true, but this is what's this is what everyone is saying. Yeah, this is this is uh, the Blue Owls uh, room. That's the picture for Blue Owls Studios uh, for one of their games they're working on, and it looks pretty epic. I I don't hear um, or haven't you know seen anything in regards to the game itself. Yeah, you can open the windows, which is pretty cool. But um, yeah. And Parsec Productions is right there, but <coughs> let's check out the bathroom. Let's see what's in here. I guess the Slenderman's gone now. But yeah, I mean, that's pretty much um, what the Slenderman's about, really. There's not much backstory to it. Um, this game tries. This game, as I thought it was going to come out and tell the backstory of the original Slenderman, but uh, the thing is, is that the person who made the eight pages wasn't really the uh, creator of the Slenderman. Uh, the Slenderman was created on that form, like I said, by some other user, and just so many people have used it uh, to make things. Now, I'm looking for a key. If you guys see it, let me know. Like, you guys can, like, I can hear you right now if you guys are watching this. Is, I'm stupid. But anyway, um, yeah, so he's not the original creator, so I w you know, I was thinking that maybe they were going to kind of uh, <clears throat> go on the sh background story of what the Slender Man is, but it, the story really focuses around the people um, in the game right now. I am a female, I think, and I'm looking for um, my friend who has suddenly disappeared out of her home. I was supposed to be driving up here and seeing her, but I go up I mean, this is how it's supposed to play out, as I go up in her room and she's not there. Um, now the room's locked, and there's a key somewhere, but I can't seem to find it. And I'm gonna spin up, oh, there it is. Okay. Woo! -hoo. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, it's really good to, this is a really good example of a, oh, I forgot. Yeah, see, there's the, uh, now that's open, so... To the woods! <laughs> Let's say that was a really good scream. Yeah, I'm starting to think my flashlight will die. Because I'm playing on hardcore mode. And in the original one, it doesn't die, or the regular mode, it doesn't die, so... I'm gonna keep it off right now. God, that's creepy. 
But this is this is a really good um, example. I love this. Um, the this game is produced in this or made in the same game engine that the original Slender the Eight Pages was made in, and. Uh, What's cool about it is that the graphics and everything, all the post-processing effects and everything is all completely different. Um, oh Jesus, I almost need my flashlight on. Um, completely different, it's it's just unbelievable how much you can get out of that uh, that game engine. But, um, uh, where are you Slender Man? It's getting dark. But, uh, yeah. And are we on to the next stage? Guess we're supposed to be. Yep, there we are. Anyway, yeah. Y'all rec y'all should recognize this. And if you've played the original Slender of the Eight Pages, you'll kind of recognize uh the the concept of what I'm about to do right now. And I know there's uh actually an Easter egg in this game that kind of tells a little bit of what the Slenderman is, or maybe hints at what the Slenderman used to be. Used to be a kid or something. Alright, so the rule of this is I'm going to keep my... Oh my god. Okay, um... I was thinking... There's a building in here I don't want to get trapped in. I guess the last thing I could do is the building. And then just make sure I pick it up in the right time. Well, the, the thing is, is that there's a building, it was it was in the original Slender 2, where, uh, you go in that shit, and, uh, you get trapped, you're done. There's nothing you can do, because the Slenderman pops around behind you. You guys will see his mechanics soon, and how he works. Here we go. <clears throat> Enjoy the scary music of the original Slender. Shut up. Something stalking me. Hey, look at that. That's pretty easy. Number two. Okay, so yeah, I guess... Oh. I guess that's what I'm going to do now, is go ahead and just go around the perimeter, collect all the pages outside, and then get the uh, one in the building last, just because uh, it, would get s it would suck to be trapped in there when I get a page and then have to get more. Already at three. If you guys have played the original Slender of the Eight Pages 2, you'll know that it's a lot harder then. Uh, this one's pretty easy. I have not played it in a hardcore mode, so I don't know if I'll survive the first run through, but hopefully I do. Hopefully I'll get a couple scares out of it too. There's the building I should have went into in the beginning, but I didn't. And I'm almost afraid to go- I'm not gonna go in there- oh, go, go. Shit. I'm afraid to go in there now, unless I see it in here. Alright, get away. Damn Slenderman. Catch your breath, boy. Girl. Nope, not in there. Okay. Good. Good. So I know it's one of those locker rooms inside there. We'll come back to that later. I am more calm than usual playing Slender. I think it's because I've played it before, and to be honest, this game is not as um, horrifying as the original one. Because, I mean, there's... Oh, shit. Oh. oh, God, where is he? Where is he? I don't know where he is. Shit. Um, the original one... You're kind of just thrown into the woods. You have no idea why you're there, and you have no idea what you're supposed to do. Did I already come from this one? And you have no idea what you're supposed to do. And, uh... That was the whole idea of the horror aspect, is you're, you're, you have no idea what you're supposed to do, you're completely defenseless, and something is stalking you in the woods. That's what's creepy. Now, I know why I got to the woods in this game, so that's why it's a li it's probably a little bit less scary because of that, but nonetheless, uh, Slenderman sneaking up on you and shit is, is always startling. More startling than, uh, than scary. I can get all of them without dying, or getting eaten, or whatever Slenderman does to Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop. Alright, alright. Little pansy. Show y'all's hell. Is there something up here? Up there. Oh 
god! Oh shit! Don't look at him, don't look at him. No, 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 no. Go away. Go away. Go away. Stop it. Damn. There was nothing up there. Oh shit. What the hell is that? Alright, that's enough. What is that? What is that? Oh shit, am I back at the beginning? God damn it. Where did I, uh... Where did I... Where do I go? Ugh. Oh my god! How did he not catch me? That was extremely close. Uh, la 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 la. La 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 la. I'm singing to myself because... You know, it just makes me feel better. Okay, let's uh, let's let's ease up on the flashlight usage here. I know from my experience in in the old Slender that your flashlight dies and then you're fucked if you can't see shit. Guys, I don't think I'm gonna make this one. Oh, there you are. Go away. Oh, go away. Oh God. Oh, stop walking, please. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Nope, that's the fence. Ah! Go back. Stop it. Stop. My flashlight is dying. Oh my god. Stop, please. I cannot see you without my flashlight. Oh my god. And... Oh god, it's so dark. I can't see without it. Oh! Where? Where, 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 where? Where are you? I don't see you. Okay! I already got you, didn't I? Yes, I did. Oh, there we go. Where? Go straight down here. Hello. Hi, I see your arms, you creepy man. I already got this one. Oh, shit. God, there goes my flashlight. God, I don't even, I can't see shit. I'm gonna get caught sure as hell. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh! oh my god. Oh shit, 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 I can't, I can't see anything. This is, uh, this is scary as shit. Oh, hello, hello, I see you, I see you, I see you. Oh god, leave me alone. Okay, go back to the fire, and then retrace your steps. Let's go. <clears throat> oh man. No, 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 no. Okay, so what's around this fire? Oh, the tent. I've already been here. Oh. What's that? Let's just go to the building if we can. Maybe all of them are in there. Oh my god, am I stuck? I think I'm stuck. Nope, I'm moving. I'm moving. Moving, moving, moving. Moving, moving, moving. Okay, here's that pit. Okay, now we're gonna go up this way this time. Alright, um, 
Why did you die on me? I didn't have enough time. There just wasn't enough time. Are these rocks? Are you kidding me? Where am I? Hi. Hi. <laughs> Stop it. Alright, 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 alright. Back on track, I think. Maybe. Hopefully. I, I imagine so. <clears throat> okay. This is ridiculous. There's no way I'm going to be able to find all the pages now. Oh, hi, is that you? Or are you gone? <laughs> Go away. Go away. Oh, shit. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Get away. I think I'm stuck. I think I'm stuck. Oh, God, no, no, no. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, well, I'll end it right here. I'll continue this at a later time. I appreciate you guys watching it. Uh, again, be sure to check out the links. Go buy this game for yourself. It's really fun. Uh, play it in the dark, headphones on, volume all the way up. It's always the best experience. But yeah, anyway, if you liked the video, give it a like. Be sure to subscribe to keep up to date with all my latest videos. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.